Hi, my name is Gabe Freeman, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about obligations in digital communications. What exactly does that mean? That means that today, young people, old people, and pretty much everyone is having an increasingly hard time logging off of their digital communication devices for extended periods of time. This is caused by an expectation that we people will respond to notifications as they come into their phones and their computers, and additionally it's caused by a fear that if we log off for too long, we might miss out on what's going on online or wherever else we might be uh, checking our social media sites. The new technologies that have come with digital communications are revolutionary, and they've been transformative in the way people communicate from around the world and the way we access information. And I do not dispute that technology has a vast amount of potential. However, I'm trying to figure out what are the negative consequences of being so ultra-connected all the time. And why is it that me, a 19-year-old boy living in 2014, feels obligated to check my digital communication devices throughout the day constantly? To give you an example of how obsessed I am with my phone, let's take a look at what happened to me this morning when I woke up and opened my phone. I saw that I had four unopened Snapchats from friends. I saw that I was uh, that it was two of my friends' birthdays on Facebook, so I was able to wish them a happy birthday. Then I saw that my sister posted a picture of herself getting her permit on Instagram. Then I opened up an app called uh, GroupMe, and I saw that my geography score of my quiz was posted online, so I quickly checked that. Next, I opened up Yik Yak and read some funny yaks from kids around campus. Finally, I spent a few minutes on my phone and I was ready to get breakfast, so I opened an app called Hooked, and I found some local deals on campus where I was able to find breakfast very cheaply. All I can say about my morning is I wonder what people a hundred years ago would have thought of all the things I did in one minute. I mean, in 1914, that was the year they first patented the air conditioner. I bet they were feeling really warm that year at least. But seriously, what are all the negative side effects of what's happening to our generation? Well. According to a New York Times article about a report done by the Kaiser Family Foundation, they say that 8 to 18 year olds spend an average of 7.5 hours in front of a screen every day, and the AAP suggests that under 2 hours a day would be sufficient in order to not have any negative si uh, health side effects. What are those negative uh, side effects that we might see from spending too much time in front of a screen? Well, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, links excessive screen time to kids being overweight poor performance in school, and even weaker bones. Another study in 2010 by the American Journal of Epidemiology, um, they found that teens who spent the most time in front of screens had the greatest increase in body fat over time. So are we addicted to our phones and our computers and all these devices? Well, according to a study done at Baylor University, um, cell phone addiction is becoming increasingly realistic. 60% of college students that were surveyed said they are addicted. Women uh, in college spend an average of 10 hours a day on their cell phones, while men spend almost 8. And as time starts ticking by, people are wondering, is anything going to be able to change? The numbers from this study show that kids in college spend an average of 94.6 minutes a day texting, 48.5 minutes a day sending emails. 38.6 minutes a day on Facebook, 34.4 minutes a day surfing the web, and 26.9 minutes a day on their iPods. I think today it would be fair to say that people are pretty addicted to their phones. I mean, 73% of users um, in a different study by Mobile Mindset uh, said they would panic if they lost their uh, mobile device. 14% of people said they would feel desperate. So. What are some solutions for people to reduce their obligation to their digital communication devices? Because right now, me as a 19-year-old kid, this is what's going through my head all the time. One option is for people to start utilizing airplane mode more. Most people only use this when they're on airplanes, but I use this when I'm studying. That way, it blocks out all communications from my phone, and I can't receive any notifications for however long I put it on airplane mode, and then I'm able to study and get my things done. Another option is to utilize apps like Moment that actually tracks how much time you spend on social media sites and using your phone throughout the day, and it will actually alert you when you go over. 
In conclusion, the trend is moving towards an increasing amount of addiction to our digital communication devices. But it's not hopeless, because with the new wave of technology, people are learning and adapting and becoming better at figuring out what's working and what's not. And if people can start implementing some change in their life, they can find a better balance between being obsessed with their digital communication devices and actually putting it away for some time and connecting with the real world again. I hope you learned something from this little video, and I hope you are able to implement some change in your life and reduce the amount of time you spend in front of a screen.